Greetings from Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York. And here is a look at 37th and Surf Avenue, the entrance to the community of Seagate, as well as the end or the beginning of the Coney Island Boardwalk. If we kept heading in this direction, we would be at the New York City subway that would bring us over to Nathan's Luna Park, Dino's Wonder Wheel, and all those wonderful things. But what is at the very end of that walkway or at the very beginning at the community of Seagate? It's actually not my first time here, but it will be my first time walking up from either what one would call the end of the boardwalk or the beginning of the boardwalk. And this is Brooklyn. I love New York on the very last weekend of July as we are approaching the hot and sticky dog days of summer, otherwise known as August. And this is now approaching Regalman Boardwalk at West 37th Street. Now we have great opportunities if we were to head in the other direction, meaning West 37th Street heading that way, because that would bring us to Coney Island Creek Park, which is open until 9 p.m. Gives you a more quieter side of beach life. Uh, no Atlantic Ocean waves, no side shows, um, really a tranquil way to enjoy the day. All right, let's take a look up. We're on the beach. And so let's take a look up at the boardwalk. This would be Regalman Boardwalk. And we can see that there is a prayer site set up at West 37 and Regalman, and not a cloud in the sky. That is rare. Normally we see that in New York in around May, Memorial Day, and then not again until autumn. Kind of reminds me of the tip of South Beach, Miami, which you could see from the cruise ships very well as you are going out to sea. Wow, great views of the borough of Queens. Great view of the tip of Breezy Point. Let's take a walk out. And for those of you who have wanted to see the community of Seagate, here is a look of the private beaches of Seagate, Brooklyn, New York. And this is the waterway uh, that goes under the Verrazano Bridge, would be known um, for fishermen as Gravesend Bay, where you can see Hoffman and Swindleman Island, where the seals live, as well as if you're on a boat, this is where you will see the Coney Island Lighthouse. Does the beach change very much on the ungated side? Nope, same Atlantic Ocean swimming. Let's take a walk up to the beach and I will continue uh, to walk this. Now I have walked Regalman Boardwalk over to Brighton Beach and that's the area that separates Manhattan Beach and Brighton Beach. And the community does change there because you go from really big, really big oversized houses uh, to more apartment style Coney Island living. And the community of Seagate, well, it's pretty big and they really have figured out how to give individuals um, waterfront property views. There are some great homes along that way. And then quiet living, I did walk by. Uh, there are signs up for Seagate, private property. No trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. Similar to Brighton Beach, I did hear a lot of Russian-speaking residents when I was over by the Coney Island Lighthouse. A great way to see the Coney Island Lighthouse is from Shore Parkway Park. And here is our, our dividing line between Coney Island and Seagate. We'll walk over so you can see the distinct differences between the two communities as we step. Can we step out on the rock? Yeah, here we are on the rock. Kind of reminds me of the tip of Breezy Point. And there is an actual tip here to Coney Island, but it goes a little bit further into the community of Seagate. And there is that line dividing Coney Island and 
Seagate. Now back to the beach, which is what one is here for today. Did pick up my Coney Island shirt. Actually in the subway, the entrance to Coney Island has these great gift shops where I was able to pick this up this year. I walked by, they're selling them for $8.99. And there are some other gift shops along the boardwalk. This really is reminding me of the end of Queens, the Rockaway Peninsula, Breezy Point. And what I'm really seeing very, very nicely today is Sandy Hook, New Jersey. The Sandy Hook Lighthouse, uh, Fort Hancock area can be seen very clearly from here. And that is the nation's most continuously lit lighthouse. That is what they are known for. Now I'm going to continue to walk along a little bit more till I get myself to Manhattan Beach. Oh, let's see. I'm on the, ready? I'm officially on the Seagate side of the fence now. So now I am showing you Seagate from Seagate. And Seagate does provide their own lifeguards. They do provide their own street cleaning, their own street lamps. Uh, they really do provide a community within a community. So it's not that they're keeping New Yorkers out. They actually do pay for all of the amenities within that gated community. And it's wonderful that they were able to manifest that home living right alongside of the water. I do applaud them for that. And here is a look of summer in Brooklyn. Till next time, from ever beautiful, I love New York. Happy summer.